What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to rotate uh, some of your profits into a different chain. Now I am personally going way, way heavier into the Phantom Network. So what I'm gonna be doing is just bridging some, fan, uh, some funds from my Matic uh, Network into the Phantom Network. So I'm using AnySwap without exchange. This is a bridging website and we're just gonna bridge some USDC stablecoin into the Phantom Network. Now, you can do different coins. They support uh, sta other stable coins, wrapped Ethereum, uh, a couple altcoins. In general, if you're bridging into a different network, you wanna stick to stable coins because they have the most liquidity on the other network. Now, what I mean by that is, let's say I had, uh, you know, 5,000 KNC tokens on the Matic network, and I wanted to move that into Phantom. Well, there has to be enough liquidity on the Phantom side in order to receive those uh, can't see tokens. So for that reason, I just stick to stable coins. So I'm just gonna bridge some USDC from Matic into the Phantom network version of USDC. And just make sure at the bottom, make sure you have Phantom selected and make sure you choose the coin. And also make sure you have enough for gas fees so for Matic, I have to have some Matic for the gas fees on Matic. And then on Phantom, I need to hold some Phantom to, uh, to have the gas fees covered as well. So there's only a $1 fee, it looks like. Yep, it's about a $1 fee. So I'm just gonna hit approve, approve. And then there should be the button for swap. Once that's been approved, you just hit swap, confirm and then let that go through. Now it takes a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes at most, um, but it depends on how congested the network is as well. Um, but usually it takes about 10 minutes. Um, and then you should receive it on the Phantom Network. Uh, just make sure you have the USDC coin enabled on there. So again, if you don't have the coin enabled, you're not gonna see it. So look up the token, go over here where it says, where you see the box button. Click the three dots and then you should see Phantom and then hit add to MetaMask and it'll add the token to your MetaMask. Okay, so that's it.